welcome back friends so in this video we are going to understand a very important concept which is dependency injection so we are going to cover the topics like what is dependency injection how we can do it inside kotlin using coin what is coin and then i have some code in front of you guys like this is a mvvm clean architecture code which i'm going to explain you guys we are typing this in the runtime and we are going to know about coin okay so let's get started with what is coin so coin is nothing but it's a lightweight dependency injection framework which is specifically designed for kotlin like dagger is not specifically designed for kotlin but this coin is like particularly designed for kotlin uh this dagger is like we can say in the heavier side of coin coin uses pure kotlin dsl dsl stands for domain specific language and does not rely on code generation or reflections it make it simpler to set up and use okay so what are the features of coin the main features of coin are that it is built in kotlin from ground up and it has no proxy reflection like direct instances resolution for better performance it is dsl based so we have a simple module declaration let me show you the module class over here like this is the module class for cohen and if you guys want i can show you the class for the dagger let me show you one for the dagger like this is a project which is under development right now and let me show you the dagger implementation over here and this is the dagger implementation like i have no network calls still yet when the network calls will be added this will be like more complex and this is coin like coin is very short and precise and main thing is that it is very easy to learn and coin works with kotlin as well as other multi platform projects it is very lightweight and have a very small library so the core components of coin is like we have our application module then we have our definition type like we have single factory and view model like single is used to create a singleton instance factory is used to create a new instance each time and view model is a kind of factory which is used to create a new instance but yeah this thing is specifically designed for the view model then we have something called this get scope this get scopes resolve the dependency from the container and then we have by inject then we are using by inject to lazy implement the properties for the injection then the implementations which we want inside our application is only this one like insert coin android compose 3.5.4 then if you want for the view models that also i will implement when i start coding the application then we have like an application class as we have in dagger hilt here in our application class we are going to define all our modules which are required in our case the only module which we have is this app module over here then what we have is like some different components in class we don't need any annotations inside our class like this is my class i don't need any annotation like i used in dagger hilt inside dagger i basically news i basically needs at the rate android entry point and in the application i basically needs at the rate android entry point not android yeah at the rate android application yeah and for the view models i basically needs at the rate hilt view model so i don't need any annotations over here i can directly use coin okay so the thing is like suppose let me give you a very simple example like what is dependency injection just imagine that you have a car and that car requires a engine and a tires to work means the class car is dependent on engine and tires for its working okay so similarly our view model this view model is dependent on my use case for its working so whenever this user view model requires this dependency this shall be fulfilled with the help of coin like you can see here we have a view model user view model get now this get annotation will just simplify the dependency like whenever my view model this user view model will require this dependency for the get user use case 
the coin will provide it the dependency at the runtime the main thing to note is that coin works in runtime and dagger hilt works in compile time like this is the main difference between these two we can consider coin works in runtime so in runtime when the user you model will require the get users use case so coin is going to implement it so let's get inside our this use case and let me show you that this use case is also dependent on the repository for its working so means this use case also requires the repository so let me come to my module and I have declared a instance so whenever my use case requires anything for its working it shall be provided to it by Cohen and a new instance shall be created every time like every time my get user use case requires this repository the repository shall be provided to it every time it requires it in the runtime and let's have a look what my repository requires and in actual my repository requires the user data source for its working so my user repository is also dependent on its working like my user repository is dependent on the user data source for its implementation so in my module i have declared that whatever the things are required by my user repository it shall be provided to it in the runtime by cohen so this is a singleton annotation like this is a singleton method so the instance shall be provided once means if we have declared it once then we can't declare it all the time this is like very beneficial when we have we can say like a network call like we don't want to make several network calls inside our application so we can make a single network call like if we are setting up a retrofit client so we can basically set it up over here okay so yeah this is like an overview of our application basically what we are going to do is we are going to make a different application on cohen where we are going to set up the whole thing from scratch not this one but yeah we will have another applications where we are going to understand the concept of cohen in details okay so i hope so the theory part was pretty much clear for you guys like what is cohen and why we are using it and what are its benefits over the dagger actually the coin is generally used for like very small projects or like the projects which are not that scalable as compared to the production level but if your app is like very big and it has very complex data structure like we can say it's not mbbm it's mbi or it's any other architecture then generally dagger health is preferred like coin is easier to set up but with no annotation but dagger have a slightly better performance due to compile time verification since the dagger works on compile time it has a better performance please like consider this it can be asked anytime if you are sitting in any android interview like this is a very important point okay so this coin provides better organization of the dependency it basically reduces our boilerplate very much but it's not as convenient as dagger it means its performance is not as good as dagger it the coin has like a very gentle learning curve like when I, you are going to implement coin it would be very simple to understand but this dagger like this is a little bit complex let me tell you guys dagger is not that easy to implement there is too many files inside dagger and too many annotations like bind provide singleton install in singleton classes like there are too much of things so yeah this coin is like very easy to learn so if you are starting dependency injection i will definitely suggest you guys to go with coin and after you have learned dependency injection please move on to dagger hilt so yeah we are going to cover both of them like in this video we are going to cover coin and we are going to have a project upon coin in the next video I hope so this coin is clear to you then after the project we will definitely have another video on dagger hill too so yeah this was like a very quick explanation of what coin is if you want like you want a further information on coin then you can definitely go on the documentation of the coin just type it there like coin docs then you can come over here and what is coin and what is like its framework 
the coin works on dsl domain specific language like it is purely made for kotlin and then but we is going constructor modules just relax don't worry if you don't understand a thing i would suggest you guys before watching our next video in which we are going to start our application making i would suggest you guys to have a just quick go through the documentation of the coin and then yeah we will start coin okay so that was a quick introduction for our next video so let's get started our application making in the next video meanwhile you can go through the documentations thank you that's it for this video be excited for the next one there is going to be application on cohen thank you for watching make sure that you subscribe to our channels and hit the bell icon and share the video as much as possible cause bringing such content on youtube is like a very difficult task to provide quality content on youtube make sure that you comment your thoughts on the comment box and if you want you can connect to us via comment we will definitely reply to our comments we will be glad to help you out okay so thank you guys